Hello, my soccer universe. At the beginning of the year, I published a video talking about my collection targets and the state of my collection, which, yeah, at the me meantime, has even grown by one more jersey to 396. And when you read in between the lines in this video, you probably get a glimpse of what my collection strategy is, but I thought it might actually be worth it to talk about how do I approach collecting? And maybe this would be a video because I've, I've been asked frequently, uh, how, do, how should I start a collection? So this is not a video of how to start a collection, but maybe this is a uh, video that could give you an idea of how you could go about building a collection. And for me, collecting was something very organic that I fell into. Yes, I've always had this collector's mind. I mean, there were times where I was started collecting uh you know toys stamps very early early on when i got in into the game i needed to have the jerseys of these teams but i still remember that by the mid to the 90s or by the 98 world cup i surely didn't have more than six or seven shirts yeah and this is me being uh, a teenager so started early on it was slowly 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 building and at first my collection strategy, I need jerseys of the teams that I liked. My first jersey was an Italy jersey because at the 1990 World Cup, I really liked Italy. Uh, yes, I had an Austria shirt too, but this was a t-shirt and not the proper Austria shirt. And I still would like to have that 1990 Austria shirt, that, uh, but that, that would be a really cool shirt to have. Um, so this was kind of the first. I remember uh, the next national team jersey that I got was a fake Brazil 94 jersey because I really liked what Brazil was doing uh, back then. So it was mostly about teams that I liked. Of course, there needed to be a Milan jersey very early on. My second ever jersey was a Milan jer jersey and it was not available that much when I started. But once last jerseys became widely available, I needed to get a last jersey. So this was teams that I really like and I really support and I was always a little bit more cavalier with national teams. Uh, but for club teams, Lask, Milan, I started adding on a few teams that uh, really enjoyed me. I, I remember the next team that I got was Ajax because Ajax of the mid 90s was really, really cool. And yes, I was at the Champions League f final where they beat Milan. And yeah, that's a whole different story uh, that I will tell another time. So, and this is still something that i'm very much into i want to collect jerseys of the teams that i really like and uh one cornerstone is building up a little bit of an italy collection and especially for lusk and milan i want to build up uh, a nicer collection maybe filling gaps i don't want to build a full library uh which i think is easier to do with milan than it is with lusk curiously uh, but I want to have the jerseys that I like or that I have an emotional connection to. For instance, the, I can give you with the emotional connection two examples. A very early one was in 99, uh, Lask switched mid-season to Puma. Again, another story. Um, and the away jersey was a black with a red shoulder uh, stuff that I just couldn't get my head around. I didn't like it. Well, they went on a glorious cup run uh, where they beat Rapid away from home, wearing exactly the jersey. And I was there in the, at the stadium. Became immediately. That's a jersey I need because there's an emotional connection to it. Meanwhile, I actually liked the jersey as well. But back then, it was really this needs to be an emotional connection there. And for Milan, I have to say the title winning shirts, especially the home and the third, third shirt, I was not so fond of. <laughs> or even this one here, but that's a... Again, a different story. Um, but once they won the title, this, of course, I need to get these shirts. Uh, it's a no, no brainer. And I still am so thankful to my buddy Idris when he found me up. You know, I found them. Then double XL, but you know, I can get them for you for a really good price. Yes, get them. Get them. Although I still want to have the player version of the champions uh, <laughs> championship winning home jersey. Again, different story. So. That's the first one. The second one is jerseys that I like. And my first example for that is the 96 France home jersey. And yes, I've always been more on the like side for France. 
there have been very few times. I mean, this was early on when I started start, start studying French and I was not really good with it. So in that sense, I hated it and I hated everything French, but that flip, flipped around in 96 when we went to Paris. And since then I'm a Francophile, if you like. And I have to say the 96 France home jersey is just, uh, that was just, at the time, I thought this is the best jersey and the most beautiful jersey ever released. Have changed my stance on it, I still think it's a very nice jersey. And France jerseys are very often really, really, really nice, especially as of late where I cannot help myself buying France jerseys. So, jerseys that I like and started entering the, the collection, the first one is that, and I, you have here, also some some i mean i i like for instance this uh italy jersey jersey also italy was not very successful there so um this is another cornerstone if there's a jersey and i don't i didn't dislike the team at the time uh then there was a good chance that i was trying to get it uh again with the caveat i was not a flush with cash it was not a high priority but when I think about my early national team collection, yeah, there were two France jerseys that I actually liked and that entered the collection just based on that um, cornerstone, in a way, of the, of, of the collection. Then, and that's now the third part, teams that I think a true collector should have. <laughs> <laughs> that actually add to the collection. Uh, my first example for that is probably Real Madrid. I remember when I bought the 98-2000 Real Madrid home jersey uh, ahead of the semi-final against Bayern Munich in 2000. I bought it and I know I like the jersey, of course, but there was kind of the emotional connection of the game. We're going to watch Real Madrid making it to the Champions League final in that one. But there was also Real Madrid is such a big team. Even though we have always been more on the Barcelona side, a Real Madrid jersey should be in the collection. So that's the other cornerstone. But this was then more on a national team level that I said, you know, I need, I probably should get a Cameroon home jersey and all this kind of stuff. So more on the national team level that I did that. And for the last time of my collecting times, these were the cornerstones. And there were no jerseys of teams that I actively disliked that were gonna enter my collection. Absolutely not. This means no Germany jersey will ever enter my collection. No Bayern Munich or Inter Milan jersey and heck no other uh, Austrian team, especially not any one of the, the Viennese giants. So uh, these were kind of the, I call them the boundaries of my collection. Uh, meanwhile, all these boundaries have been torn down because I have changed my collection strategy. Um, what I always liked is that ahead of a World Cup, I really like that I have actually built up quite a national team collection and for the most part that I still think that I like collecting national teams a little bit more than club teams. I have more club jerseys but I like collecting national teams a little bit more um, because you know you have, if you've been to a country and, and, and so on you want to add that uh, but there's something nice ab ab about it and I actually made it a sport. Um, Starting the 2010 World Cup, collection was not no, not big, but I could almost go every day uh, to work and wear a jersey of a team that was playing during the group stage, which was already pretty cool to say. I remember this also for the 2018 World Cup, and yes, for the 2022 World Cup, it was the first one where I had literally a jersey for every team. But this also is now the 2018. This is the kind of really where it started to snowball big time. Because if I would not have started up again my channel in 2018, and before that it was just reviewing jerseys, you, don't, you didn't even see me. Before that came, um, these three corazons would have been fine. Teams that I like, jerseys that I like, teams that probably would add value to the collection because, you know, Every collector should have one of these big teams and absolutely no teams that I act, act actively dislike. Um, however, when I started the channel, yes, I started wearing jerseys, but especially when I talked about leagues or competitions uh, where 
I saw that, yeah, now I don't have a jersey to wear. What should I put on? It was, uh, or, um, yeah, all the jerseys that I have, all these teams have lost this weekend. Isn't it a little bit weird? Yes, meanwhile, I've decided, okay, if Milan lose or if uh, Lask lose, I'm going to put a Lask or a Milan shirt just because to talk that you know that I'm talking from a fan perspective whenever this is happening. But this was actively a thought of mine. Um, and that went then even further that once I moved into this space here, I said, well, I have all these empty walls. I actually, yes. And then I got the idea last year that I could hang, hang up my scarves that were a little bit more, but I'm still, I haven't added to my scarves. But, but by the way, if you have any scarves of teams that uh, you don't, uh, that I don't have here or you would like to see uh, and you don't use them, just contact me. I, I'd happily add more scarves and I want to make this a little bit more variable because I have not changed this now in half a year and I really want to actively change a little bit more but without damaging the wall. So working on that as well. Again, losing a little bit track here. Um, but I wanted to fill that wall with my shirts and I have already a good call collection. But you know, then there were certain uh, areas of competitions where I couldn't do that. Uh, I remember the first time I talked about the Asian Cup, I was always wearing an Australia shirt because that was the only Asian team that I have. Uh, my Bundesliga coverage was really, really hampered because I didn't have, of course, Germany. Mm, I didn't have any German teams, although I liked some German teams, weirdly enough. So uh, that became then the next cornerstone. Adding teams that I need to put on me, but also to put in the background to make the videos look a little bit better. Uh, and that started out, out with jersey reviews. And I, uh, the other thing is, I think when I did my first Bundesliga jersey review, you saw I had some German team scars, but then I said, okay, let's hang up national team jerseys of players that play in the Bundesliga. Yeah, I needed my Bundesliga teams. Uh, so these were now, I added a new entire segment of my collection, which is channel jerseys and I guess this Girona jersey is a classic channel jersey because I think I would never have gotten a Girona jersey otherwise if it wasn't for the work on this channel but it also meant I needed to grow my collection and I don't have the means to do it so I needed to look secondhand and I needed to look a little bit uh, to, to get them a little bit on a bargain so here comes my next collection strategy. I scour on used, you know, uh, secondhand pages, mainly Wilhelm here in Austria. I know there's Vinted out there, um, which I'm not, a, I, 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 I know, I, there's something about me that doesn't like how Vinted is, and especially when I look here in Austria. Yes, it has, it casts a wider net, um, but I don't find it as user-friendly as Wilhelm. Let's put it that way. Um, but also, you know, classic football shirts and all these other stores that sell older shirts. Those were game changers for me. And especially when I saw Wilhelm, uh, how suddenly people are actually selling really good jerseys for a decent price. Uh, I still now major cornerstone, unless it's a jersey that is in a very special category, like this Giroud jersey. Um, in a way this year on a jersey as well. Um, I put myself a limit. I don't want to spend more than 30 euros on a shirt, if I can do. Uh, so this is another cornerstone uh, and work within these parameters. However, this was relatively easy then to fill up the collection, especially with uh, Bundesliga teams. Then also when I got the Austrian Bundesliga, although that's actually a little bit more challenging to do now on the cheap than I would expect it, but you know, all the big teams that are out there, I usually, European teams, I usually can find for a really decent price. And the same goes for national teams. If it's a run of the mill national team, or sometimes even a few obscure ones, I can find jerseys for a relatively good price. And I built, I would say, around 50% of my collection doing it that way. But now I've reached a point where I've covered all these big teams. Now I actually need very specific jerseys, which means instead of volume, now I need to go a little bit more into, uh, you know, I needed this Girona shirt. I cannot find a Girona shirt for cheap or maybe, you know, my wife is always a good advisor. She said, 
you know, I really think you should get this one even if it costs more. So I spent more. The last collection strategy that is absolutely a cornerstone is set yourself a budget. Yes, I have not been good with my budget in the last year. In fact, I have not kept track of it and uh, that's bad on me. But I also thought that this is probably the last time where I can, the last year literally where I can really go all out and buy. Um, for reasons that I mentioned in the video, you know, older daughter going to school, uh, we want to travel more. And so, so I really saw 23 as kind of the last real glory days for collecting. Now I want to go back and yeah, I'm already uh, going a little bit cray crazy, but I have to work uh, within me. I want to go back to go a little bit more, you know, slower. Yes, still for the Euros, I want to have a, a jersey for every, every team. I'm not going to go crazy on African jerseys this time around. I will not add Asian jerseys, although I still need a China jersey. If you have seen a China jersey for a good price, 30 or less, ring me up. I I might be, in, I might or slash, I will be interested, um, especially if it's a good looking one. I really would like to have the 2008 one or one of the more recently released ones, but yeah. Again, beside, this, beside itself, the topic. So for the channel, my collection parameters are Jenny on the month, 30, 30 bucks, go on the used jersey market, um, ask there for product codes, state of the jersey, or you know, kind of, I mean, sometimes it happens that you can get a really good jersey for dirt cheap, it does happen, but sometimes you get a jersey that is maybe a little bit more damaged than that you would like. But if I stay be below the 30, I'm still generally okay with that. Uh, so this was the collection expander in in a way and now sticking to a budget. So to summarize, what's my collection strategy? Well, first of all, personal collection, channel collection, and I don't have them set, set separately, but I can tell you when I look at jersey, is this more a collection jersey or is this more a um or this is more a channel jersey uh by the way back here i think we have three collection jerseys and we have one channel jersey teams that i like jerseys that i like jerseys that i have an emotional connection to jerseys and now this falls a little a little bit of jerseys of teams that i need to kind of patch up holes in the, in the collection for the channel because I think all the teams that I would like ever have would be, uh, I have covered them that uh, in both cases, although there's one caveat that they will come, stick to a budget and set yourself a limit for jerseys uh, that are non-special to you uh, to get them. For instance, most of the Bundesliga shirts that, that I bought, uh, especially of teams that I do not like, I mean Austrian and German Bundesliga, I got them for relatively cheap. Yeah, so that's what I do. Now, I am not, for instance, in the match one space. However, I have this Giroud match one jersey back there, uh, which is, of course, it's a Milan jersey. It is special. I had the opportunity to uh, get it. And of course, this adds value to, to the collection, but I'm not going actively out there. I'm more about now the mass volume of my jerseys. Uh, for the collection, for the channel, and that actually makes a lot of fun. When I look at this young boys jersey, um, this I would, for instance, say is more a collection jersey because a I like young boys. I've been to Switzerland, to Switzerland, so I have an emotional connection. And I like the jersey at the moment it was released. I distinctly remember this in 2010. This is actually a really cool jersey that I would like to have. So um, you see, kind of my distinctions that I make now. For, for now, I've said I need to limit my scope because you can go wild all over the world. I want to stick clubwise in Europe and I want to limit myself mostly to Austria, Italy. Those are the two that are, and especially Italian jerseys, team, uh, club teams. I think that's a cornerstone of my collecting that I don't, I do even off the channel. Uh, we have, of course, England. Spain, uh, we have France, we have uh, Germany, we have Netherlands and we have Portugal. 
so this is where limit to and then you know if some teams from outside of these do well in Europe or I've been to that country I would like to add as well meaning you know the two Prague jerseys that I have are, are part of that um, collection impetus now of course uh, for everything outside I try to get national team jerseys uh, at the bare minimum for the countries that I've, I've been again China is probably the one that I don't have for now um, but that's about uh, that, that that's about the um, don't go club teams although it would I admit to being tempted sometimes by uh, the big South American teams especially from Brazil and Argentina like Boca, Flamengo, Sao Paulo uh, that would be really nice not there yet not there yet and I'm not sure if I will ever be maybe if I see a poker game then it would add the emotional part or fill that box so this is how I go about collecting yes uh, I could go wild and it is for many very very wild I sometimes wish it would be as easy as I'm saying yes I'm collecting all the Milan jerseys and all the Lusk jerseys and whenever one, one, one is released I buy it maybe get a name set on that and that's that but at the moment I'm more about I don't want to say I'm more about volume but you know I like to have a I, I'm more about having an, an eclectic collection um, than having like a very de 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 uh, dedicated co co collection to just a handful or maybe even just one team that's just not me I have wide reaching and as I said most of the jerseys that I have fulfill a purpose uh, either of being part of the collection or being useful for the channel so I hope this was a helpful video for you guys uh, I just thought I'll put this out there uh, to kind of as a guideline this is how I'm doing it maybe it's not for you but maybe there are some hints and tips that may help you especially if you are starting out your your, your collection um, but I'm also interested in what are your ways of going about about the collection I mean some of the collectors that I have uh, got to know they go more into the match worn space so they want to have name sets on there uh, they want to have uh, only the uh, authentic on-field product or they want to have from as many parts of the world as possible all valid strategies this is my personal one in any case I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you soon about more stuff in my soccer universe bye Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!